how did you become a security engineer? Uh, man, so the thing is, I originally went to school like I thought I was gonna be a politician. Mm-hmm. So I, I went to I went to um, political science. I changed my degree like twice, um, political science, and then I just did uh, was like business marketing. Um, mm-hmm. And I was like, I was never going to class business marketing. I had like a point nine GPA my first semester. <laughs> like the second semester, I had like a one eight or something like that. Okay. And it wasn't because like I couldn't do the work. I just never. Yeah, bro, you smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just like it was it was it was boring. And so I was like, man, like I've always been good with computers. I've always been good with stuff like that. So I looked into software engineering. I did computer science for a little bit. I was like, yeah, I hate this. And um, I had took my first intro to cybersecurity class, and my teacher was telling us, you can get paid to hack. And I was like, well, man, BS. Yeah. <laughs> like, nah, bro. That, and so as I started just looking into it, I was like, man, like this, this is a real thing. Like, you making money? Like, bro, like my internships, I was making like $40 an hour. Like getting, internship, getting like my sign on bonus, like the biggest sign on bonus I had as an intern was like fifteen thousand, and so yeah, <laughs> a fifteen thousand dollars sign on bonus for an internship, yes. bro, so, that's crazy. <laughs> so why everybody else in college know you was getting directly? <laughs> I'm good, like I'm you know I'm buying red bottoms, I'm the Louis Vuitton, like yeah. I'm doing all that, and people are like what the fuck is this dude doing? I'm like yeah. my internship, they think you hustling <laughs> yeah, <or something>. like <laughs> my intern, like bro, I was like. I'm not gonna lie, and I was also um, working as a contractor for a Linux engineer too. Mm-hmm. So I would always have like my contract job, and I was also have my internship. Mm-hmm. And like my internships was only like a couple of days per week, and you know, so I'm able to do that. And it was work from home as a Linux engineer. So like since college, I've been making probably at least sixty, seventy thousand a year. Man. So it's like I'm in college, like so you gotta think about like. Were you making? <laughs> man, you was in college making more money. Oh man, that's like middle management, <laughs> yeah, like a corporate so, company. That's yeah. crazy. So I have been making like decent money, and um, at the time, like because I had so many internships, like my experience, like whenever I came, I said I'm not taking an entry level or like a college like type role because typically when companies try to bring you in, they try to bring you in like as a in a in a college program where it's mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, the fast track you do. I'm like, no, I, I'm not doing that because I know if I come in, I can make a media impact. Like in my internships, like. I had immediate impact within like my last two, three internships because like I had that experience. So when I came out, I was like, I'm making no less. Like I'm already making like 60, 70 now. I'm not taking no less than like a hundred. Yeah. And so, you know, I had, th- I think I had like four or five like offers coming mm-hmm. out and I was pinning them against each other and like, hey, whoever you yeah, so basically you was like, <laughs> and you was telling one yeah. company, hey, they're offering yeah. this. Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> Cause like my first offer coming out was like 80, 85, like, and I was like, nah, like, and it was the crazy thing about it because it was a specific company I was working with. I I had like nine interviews. I interviewed with like four different teams, and they all wanted me. And so like, I was pinning teams against teams to give me the best offer. 